My name is Lou Mitchell Courtney and I am an artist. I work as a ceramic sculptor. As an artist, I have to conceive, plan, create, photograph, and sell my work. My typical day involves checking emails, any kind of communication that's come in, very important. I will also organize, prioritize for the day, for the week, and even kind of a general oversight for the month. Um, I will pull out any drawings related to what I'm going to be working on that day. Sometimes I have a loose gesture sketch, and other times it's very detailed and exact. Um, I will then pull out any clay and prepare it kneading the clay, getting the right amount out. Um, generally, if I'm working on smaller items, I'll work on three to five pieces at the same time. So they'll be all generally at the same stage um, during the course of that week, and they'll evolve together. You also want to make sure that you photograph your work at different stages. At the end of the day, I'll clean up my tools, I'll look at my material list and see if I need to order anything. I'll do any kind of PR sharing that I need to do on my website or the, uh, social media. You want to record your work hours, describing what you've worked on and roughly how many hours per piece. The stress level is usually low. Uh, sources of stress can include if you have a miscommunication with a client, either they have not, they misheard you or you have misheard them. Also, your schedule is often affected by the drying time of your clay. You cannot rush clay. So the more unique a piece is, the greater the risk that something can go wrong, whether it's with the clay warping or cracking a little bit. I work approximately 30 hours in the studio each week, uh, plus 7 to 10 hours office work, um, photographing or um, doing PR work during the late summer and early fall. There are additional hours preparing for shows and sales inventory for the fall and winter, which is usually the best sales. You might want to consider a four-year degree in art or the art-related field, um, whether it's painting, studio ceramics, or design in general. What that will do is it will give you a lot of time to an exposure to different techniques, different media. You never know when you're going to draw on something that's seemingly unrelated and use that in what becomes your area of focus. Down the road, a master's is certainly something to consider also. I've noticed a lot of the better galleries want to see they're the people that they represent having a master's degree now. Other skills that will help you out a lot is woodworking, photography, graphic design, drawing, speaking, sales, negotiation, and accounting skills. Some of the things I didn't expect were the necessity and importance of being able to write and talk about your work. Being a ceramic sculptor is physically demanding. People think that your job is easy, but you are preparing your clay, you're creating your piece, sand it, you glaze it, you fire it, you price it, you photograph it, you box it, you ship it. You also have to find your market for different bodies of work that you create. The best part of my job is it's satisfying to create unique, personal, well-made objects that people enjoy and appreciate and they feel connected to. 
The worst part is occasionally having to defend your pricing structure. That is one of the reasons why you want to keep good records for your time and the cost of your materials. And it's not to literally say, well, I spent this much and this much time. It is merely to help you come up with a reasonable price. The second thing that's terrible is trying to find the right fit, whether it's the right gallery to show your work or the right festival to do or even getting your website whether it's a sales website like Etsy that you know is really geared to little tiny things and if that's what you're making great but if you're trying to sell something big and fantastic on there that's not the right fit it's also very time-consuming so I don't go out of town a whole lot it's very frustrating to have to because I'm the only one that's doing everything, going out of town is a big production. When I come back, everything's waiting for me. Any kind of art that you go into, drawing is essential. And so it's very inexpensive also to just take a drawing pad with you wherever you go. It's good to draw from nature. Um, gesture drawings to really detailed drawings, any of that will help you in any avenue, even non-art related that you'll ever encounter. You really want to be very productive. I would really encourage you to be create a lot of pieces, but you want to make sure that you do so with intention and a lot of care. And finally, persevere. It, it's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication, but it's highly rewarding. You can have a very satisfying life making decorative objects or functional pottery, but the most satisfying will be if you can find something unique to the human condition that you're able to manifest or your generation has an idea or a problem that you're able to bring some light to make that into a three-dimensional form, or even if you're just combining materials in a really fresh way.